Okay, so, hi, I'm Brogan Marshall and this is my Sinus Rider story. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm from a family that loves motorsports and motorbikes, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Behind me, this is my um, dad's shed. Um, so yeah, my dad is a big part of why I love motorbikes. Um, always been around them as kids, sat on them, been on the back of motorbikes since from a very, very young age. The first Sinus bike um, I purchased was the Sinus Scrambler. Um, we got that off eBay second hand, did it up, um, really, really loved it. And then I have the Sinus Trackstar as well, which again is a really great ride. So we tuned them up a little bit, fixed them up, adjusted certain things. Um, we were going to adjust the seat on the Scrambler, but instead we bought the Trackstar. Um, potentially thought about changing the exhaust on the Trackstar. Um, but I do really love them as they are. That's, it's quite hard because I like them um, both for different reasons. So the Scrambler I love the look of. It's a black bike. I'm probably more into a black finish. Um, but the Trackstar, I would say for, for rideability and comfort would be my favorite. I think they're really cool looking little bikes. Um, get you where you need to go. They're reliable. What does riding mean to you? Freedom. Absolutely. Um, yeah, just, just freedom. It's escapism from daily life. I think when you're riding a bike, all you can do is think about riding the bike. So it's that you, you haven't got that intrusion of daily thoughts and stresses. You just are in the zone. Um, so yeah. Me and I go out with my dad often. Um, we we'll go out on a Saturday morning, we ride from here. There's a lovely lake, Ellesmere Lake, so we'll go there. Sometimes stop for breakfast on the way or just sit at the lake and chat, have an hour chatting, ride back. So we do lots of short rides like that. There's also um, Sleep Airfield not too far from here. So we go there and um, you can sit and have a coffee or breakfast and, and watch the like um, private airplanes come in, which is always quite cool. We've been and done the Horseshoe Pass a couple of times, which is a little bit of a longer, I have to make a bit more of a day of it. But yeah, most of the time it's just short, short rides on a Saturday or a Sunday morning, just spend time with my dad. Well, I really, really want to get into doing a bit more off-road. I went to Mali Mile with you guys and absolutely had the best time and it really like sparked wanting to be able to control a bike off-road. Um, so looking to do some of that in the spring um, and get a little bit of experience off-road. I think it will also make me a stronger and more confident rider on the road. Um, so yeah, I'd really like to get into more off-road. I really, really like I love the Sinus brand and how inclusive they are. I think, not in, in terms of people, but in terms of bikes, I think what they offer, they offer such a wide spectrum of vehicles. So whether you're a moped rider or you wanna have a really cool looking bike and you're kind of there a little bit more for the aesthetics, they cover everything in that respect. Um, so yeah, I think they're a really inclusive brand and a, and a really great way to start your motorbike journey. Um, and I think offer so much from a 125 perspective, affordability, reliable, um, I couldn't recommend getting a Sinus anymore to, uh, to uh, someone looking to get into motorbiking. Um, as well as the people, obviously, it's been a pleasure meeting you guys as well. You're so um, like warm and friendly, so yeah. So next steps is hopefully getting my full license um, in the spring of next year. Um, I've been saying I'm gonna get my full license for a little while now, I think I've been riding Sinus for, it must be nearly four or five years, I would say. Um, since getting my first CBT and that kind of all happened over COVID so I had to do my CBT again because I just didn't wasn't out on my bike um, I live down London my bikes were here with my parents um, so I ended up having to take my CBT again so I'm on my second I don't want to take it a third time so um, yeah hopefully getting my full license and being able to get a, uh, a bigger bike potentially like a 250 or something next and, and then eventually would love like a Harley or something Okay. Well, thanks for that.